Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, gonna give you a quick video, real quick, on how to paint your aluminum pool coping. As you can see, now as you can see, you can see how that looks. Uh, it's kind of bright out here. But some of the paint wore off. It'll look like that. Because uh, I guess this coping was powder coated at one time, so throughout the years. It just wears off so this is what they recommend first off what you're gonna do duct tape you need duct tape and what I did is I just duct taped off all the way around the pool then you have to get south etching primer and what you want to do is you don't need to spray up everything you just need to spray the raw aluminum where it's like that so you would want to spray the bare metal the bare metal aluminum like that um, with the primer so as you can see over here I kind of stopped but you know like not everything's done Take some of the primer did some of the primer so like that so that was, but first and foremost, before you do that, I almost forgot, sorry. You want to get yourself the SOS, or the, the pad, the maroon looking one like this for metal. And I got all the stuff at Menards. And you want to kind of scuff up everything along here. And this is before priming. So you're going you're gonna to put the tape around. And you're gonna go around and you're gonna scuff up all of it and get the excess paint off then you need to buy some TSP and what I did is I just sprayed it on these cloths right here and I you wipe off wipe off everything around and let it dry I even took my blower and I blew like the little because it'll, it'll get like little little chips from this from sanding it off so you'll get like some little dust white dust so I just kind of blew all that out um, and then yeah then you're ready for the primer and then I'm and I'm using an, an enamel paint a rust oleum they said to use the enamel and you want to use an enamel clear coat you definitely want to use the clear coat so you can go two ways about this you can do the roller, the four inch roller with the pan and the paint, or you can do the spray. So I was going to go this way with the roller, but this seems a little bit easier if you take the uh, steps to um, make sure that your pool water isn't getting full of like excess spray paint. So I made that mistake yesterday, but it really doesn't matter because we're getting our liner replaced in like three days. So I can be kind of sloppy with this stuff. So I will show you what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to leave my solar cover out. I'm going to lay newspaper on top of the solar cover up against the edge because I tried doing the newspaper floating in just the water and it sunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut cardboard chunks cardboard chunks down here and blue tape use the painters blue tape and tape it so they can't float away so that way the spray paint will get there get on the cardboard and not in the water and then another thing you can do is you can use this brown roll paper and if you really want to but i found like you don't need to is you can put it on the edge of this and like roll it out so that you'll have more of a backer if you get soft with that spray paint. So here I'm gonna set up the cardboard and the newspaper and be right back. So this is what I'm going to do. I laid cardboard inside the pool and then I duct taped and then I have this to put around my edge. And then I just kind of move that down as I go. So I got the primer 
on. Still got to primer this up. And then I'm going to float that cardboard in this water, in the water here, uh, for the, with the tape. I'm going to tape it probably. I'll probably tape it unless it'll float. I might tape it to the sides of some painter's blue tape. But again, don't forget, I'm not, um, I don't have to care about this liner it's getting replaced so i will give you a final result sorry about the rush in the video um but i just kind of gotta get this done because we got the liner coming in two days so here's all this stuff again i'll go over it again with you at the end everything i bought was at menards i think everything costs like 120 bucks so like i said though i'm probably not going to need that i could take that back don't need this stuff to take it back so I will give you a final result when I'm done. Thanks again. All right, so here's a recap on the coping and the paint. These are all the materials used. And I'll explain that to you how I did it real quick. All right, so basically, you're gonna wanna start with the duct tape, tape all the way around the perimeter worked out great and you're going to want to take the SOS pad the maroon one and scrub the whole entire coping down then you're going to want to clean it off with the uh, TSP you're going to want some rags I just bought a bundle of them then all the bare spots where there's aluminum showing so you have to put the self etching primer or a filler primer, but I use this. We're all done with that. Use enamel paint and make sure that you use an enamel clear coat because that will make it bulletproof. So I'm all done with the pool. Cardboard works okay, but you can see all the stuff floating in here. But I mean, it turned out pretty good. And that tape worked out really good. Nice. So, I mean, went all the way around. I used four cans of paint, two cans of primer, and uh, three cans of the matte finish of the clear coat. But I mean, it turned out really good. So let's just see how this holds up. I got a new liner coming in. And also I suggest probably shouldn't paint when you have a puppy. If he wants to get all in the mix. So thanks again. So again, sorry that the video was short, but quick to the point. Just wanted to show you guys what I use. If you like the video, subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment, tell me if I'm doing something wrong, tell me if you're doing something right, if you like it. So thanks, YouTube, peace.